Technology is changing faster than ever, with new and great ideas coming to the surface every day. Be it super-fast computers or people having floating farms, we see newer things daily. These are seven emerging technologies that will forever change the world. Have you ever thought if bacteria can be used to seal the gaps in concrete? Do you think space travel can be made cheaper by use of a centrifuge? To get answers to these questions, follow along. Number 1. Spin Launch We have seen immense focus in recent years on private space companies and their zeal to develop vehicles which can take paying customers into the orbit. But the harsh reality is that, especially with this unimaginable amount of pollution that these traditional spaceflight creates, these new advances won't be making a difference to a lot of people other than billionaires. However, all is not lost. There is a less popular company that is making very big strides at making space technologies cheap, green and easier to access. But the difference is that their focus is on satellites and not on human travel. The company is known as Spin Launch. The concept is very simple but really difficult to get it into working model. The company is founded in 2014 and is funded by a large number of companies such as Airbus and Google. They are building a kinetic energy launch system to launch satellites into the orbit instead of relying on chemical rockets to do this. They have actually designed a vacuum sealed centrifuge machine that will spin objects around and will release them later into space at a marvelous speed of about 5,000 miles per hour. And once the objects reach a suborbital height, a traditional rocket booster can take over from there on. This concept will considerably reduce the amount of fuel that is needed to be burned, and the most fascinating part is that the energy which is used to power this centrifuge comes from green sources such as solar and wind. The company even proved that the most traditional satellite components are fit to withstand the 10,000 Gs of force which they will be subjected to during the launch. It is said that it will cost less than half a million dollars to send a rocket into space as compared to the tens of millions that it currently does. It is expected that the full version will be ready in a few years and it will be a new discovery for satellite launches. Number 2. Graphene Next up on the list is graphene, as it is a substance that was existing only in theory till now because it is very complicated to manufacture. It is derived from graphite, a material that is used in making pencils. It is made entirely from carbon atoms and graphite is a 2D material which means that carbon is arranged perfectly in a hexagonal honeycomb formation which is 0.3 nanometers thick and has 0.1 nanometer between each of the atom. In practice, this new arrangement gives huge benefits that are only just starting to be understood. Graphene can conduct electricity far more efficiently than copper and it is also 200 times stronger than steel but it is six times lighter. It is almost completely transparent because it only absorbs the 2% of light and it is impermeable to gases. Even the lightest ones cannot pass through it. It can also have a chemical component added to its surface to change its properties, so it is more like a platform that developers will be able to arrange in any way that plays to their needs. It can even revolutionize touchscreen tech as it can make lighter composite materials. It has a lot of uses in electronics too. We should have graphene in commercial capacity from next decade. Number 3. GPS 3. The third technology is GPS-3. The American GPS satellite network was completed in 1993 and it was the first global navigation system. It revolutionized the way that everyone determines where they are on Earth. At first, the benefits were only limited to militaries, but now the technology has had an impact on all of our lives. Currently, the satellite doesn't give full coverage like in mountains or dense urban environments. It is also very simple to block the signals, which is a threat for military use. 
there is a huge demand for improving the system and the technology has already been developed. To do this, it is known as GPS-3 and it is built by Lockheed Martin. The satellites are already being launched and are expected to fully upgrade the network within a few years when the project is complete. The signals will be far more accurate and even eight times stronger so they can't be blocked. Giving improved safety signal integrity and far greater security. Number four, floating farms. Now we have the fourth invention, floating farms. So one of the biggest problems we face is producing enough food to satisfy everyone's needs. An estimated 30% of global land surface is for agriculture and a third of that is used for crops and the leftover two-third is used for grazing livestock. This restricts the potential areas for inhabitation of farming and also ends up encouraging large-scale deforestation and habitat change. Alternatives are available like vertical farms that are looking to improve the yield for the farms while others are looking at more radical solutions like floating farms. It involves building huge complexes that can sit on the surface of the ocean and can be easily moved when needed. One of them had been in operation for several years in the port of Rotterdam in the Netherlands where a company known as Bic Cardon built a floating platform designed to farm 40 cows. They are all milked by robots and they produce the product as close to the end customers as possible. Transport costs are also reduced because of this concept, an added benefit. Number five, edge computing. Let's talk about number five on the list, edge computing. Our computer usage has also changed significantly in the past few decades and also has the way technology is designed. Virtually everything is on cloud these days with major players like Amazon, Google, IBM, etc. There is very little room for more innovation. So edge computing, which is a way to reduce latency and increase speed, is the next big thing. It might seem like it is going back on the idea of cloud computing, but it is mostly harnessing and making cloud technology more cutting edge you will be able to access your online content much easier and similarly, self-driving VARES are the best example of the usage of edge computing. Rather than you waiting for a server's response, it can function on its own and be independent while at the same time this needs to be controlled by a central system so it is automatically updated and we can improve the algorithm. Number 6. Self-Healing Concrete now, let's move on to number six on the list, self-healing concrete. Concrete is undoubtedly the most important construction material that is used in construction and is only second to water in terms of the most consumed material. Even though it is a tough and durable material, it is susceptible to wear and tear. Even though it is a very tough and durable material, it is still susceptible to wear and tear and it can even develop cracks and holes that will affect its stability in the long term. We need to either maintain or replace it to avoid a disaster. There is a new solution where you can add bacterial spores in the concrete mix along with a mix of food sources like yeast. An amazing thing happens if there is ever a crack. The bacteria are exposed to the oxygen and water and they begin to consume the food. They multiply and then produce the calcium carbonate or limestone as a secondary product. This would seal the crack again and if it is done right, it will be as if there was never a crack in the first place. The whole process can be completed in around 14 days and it will prevent the cracks from becoming wide and creating fatal flaws. Number seven, hydrogen fuel cells. The seventh and the last place is occupied by hydrogen fuel cells. The automotive industry is currently going through its biggest challenge. Batteries and electric concepts seem to be dominating this space currently. There are issues like provision of green electricity, 
or how much load it will put on electric grids. There is also the concern that the batteries are relatively super heavy for the quantity of charge they can hold, and they are not even suitable for large ships or planes. The alternative is hydrogen fuel itself, as hydrogen can be made from a lot of methods such as natural gas, nuclear power, biomass, and even through other renewable energies. One major advantage is that when it is used, the only byproduct is water. Even in the UK, a proof of concept has been conducted where a train was fitted with hydrogen cells and is undergoing tests. Even aircraft manufacturers like Airbus are more positive about hydrogen fuel cells. All these inventions make us realize that we have come a long way in technical innovation and we still have a lot of progress to make. Please comment on which technology is most mind-blowing according to you. Don't forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to our channel for more interesting updates. Until next time.